What's up, KBK Mafia? It's your boy KBK, man. If you don't know the saying, now you know the saying. KBK didn't get you right. You ain't what? Doing it right. You do what I'm saying? So, look, in today's video, I will be doing something a little different than I usually do. It's not dealing with shoes. You feel what I'm saying? Today is Father's Day, right? And I want to do something that I always want to do with my dad. You feel me? I want to do something a little different, which is a part of our arts and craft. Get him out of retirement a little bit, because if y'all don't know, my dad know how to work his hand as well. You feel what I'm saying? So, today I always wanted to try a posse art. If y'all don't know what a posse art is, a posse art is basically when you take a posse like clear resin and you put on top of art, and it's kind of hard to give you that little shine. So, I always wanted to try that. And today I want to do our favorite NFL team, which is the Atlanta Falcons. And yes, I have no, I heard, I didn't heard the Super Bowl 24, Sam, I didn't heard it all. But one thing about Atlanta, we're still on Route 5 Falcon. You feel what I'm saying? Dirty Birds, hello. I've never done this before, so this kind of going to be fun for both of us. It's going to be a little fun. If I mess up, I mess up. Sometimes it just takes for you to try, but don't never give up. You feel me? So this is going to be quite interesting. You feel me? So first time for everything, so we're going to see. This is going to be a very interesting project with me and him. It's just something I want to do for fun, so. Let's go! Alright, so we at Harbor Fry right now. I gotta get a router. Then I gotta go to Michael's to get the pot seat. Then we gotta get a projector, plywood, black and white paint, and paint brushes. So we got a lot of things to get. This is my first time doing this. Like I said, it's like I want something I want to do with my dad. So it's the first time for everything, right? Come on. Alright, so we found a um our router tool for the wood. Uh this one was like $49.99, but they got on sale for $17. So we just got the router, we just gotta go to Home Depot, get the wood. The other tools and stuff. You gotta go to Walmart and get the paint. Then we gotta go to Michael's and get the epoxy. Then we done. So let's go get the rest of the material. So I go meet my dad. We get it bitch to all the let go. I ain't gonna cat it out for it, man. I don't know how I'm finna fit this inside my car. It's too tall. And I ain't got no trunk. This is what we get for trying to be all, you know, trying to surprise people and jump. Dang. We finna see if we can fit in my homeboy fat truck. I ain't gonna see if we fit in my brother trunk, cuz I ain't got no trunk. Don't damage me now. Oh, no. Mm-mm. No. It's over with. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I only got a truck, bro. I'm gonna have to strap the thing yeah, on top of the, the car. Truck, get some, uh, go down there to the lumber area, get some um, tie down. I'm gonna tie it down. You know, they give you like a little string, and like you just loop it through your through car. Through the car? Yeah. That's what, that's what I used to do when I help people with they uh, do something like that. Because the dude with a Camaro did the exact same you did with a larger panel on top of his car. Cool. <laughs> All right, but we gotta go get the string, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right, man. We finally got the wood on the car. We got, <laughs> we had to put the wood on top of my car. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta get it how you live it. You feel me? So I still gotta go to Michael's. You feel me? I gotta ride around with this wood on top of my car, looking crazy. So uh, let's go. We done made it back to the crib. As you can see, man, I got the wood set up. Only thing I gotta do left is I got my projector right here. I just have to project the image that we're gonna put. So I feel like I'm gonna do like the logo like this tall right here. This tall. So before my dad actually come back and help me out with this project, I'm gonna just go ahead and get the tracing part and all that ready for him. So when he get here, we you know what I'm saying, we get to get to cutting the board and stuff. So I have my projector up. Only thing I gotta do is cut off the lights, trace around the logo. Then after I trace it around, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just spray paint it white, then come back and trace, put the projector back on the logo that I cut out, and then trace around it. So let's go. So we just cut out the outline. As you can see, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It was a little challenging, only because of the little curves and stuff. So my dad kind of, he, he helped me out with the little curves and stuff. So, so what we finna do next is we finna sand the outline. What we finna do next? Finna sand the outline. The outline? Mm -hmm. Sand the outline, straighten up our edges. Okay, cool. We gonna sand the top? 
No. Okay, so we just finna sand the outline and smooth out the edge so when we paint on top and somebody lift it up, they won't catch a blister and that stuff. So. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, this thing came out dope. What you think, that? Yeah. Came out pretty good, really good. <laughs> Everything come out of, so we finna do next is we finna uh, put down a white primer. That's what we call it, a white primer. And then we are gonna put the projector back on the thing and um, trace the, the rest of the Falcon logo and then paint it, you know, black and red, so. Man, so look, we finally done finished painting the Falcons logo. You feel what I'm saying? So we had to trace it out, finish painting it and stuff. So my dad, he went to bed because he have to go to work five in the morning. It's like two o'clock right now in the morning. But you know we still gonna get the job done because I don't like stop. So the last step I gotta do is I gotta add the epoxy on top, which is what gives it that, that clear gloss that y'all see with like mugs and stuff like that. But the only thing about epoxy that we have to do it outside and they have to rush it to the to the um garage. garage. So you know, it can be in some hot heat. So we have to let it sit for like 72 to 48, 48 to 72 hours, depending on how quick it dry inside the heat. So we're gonna put that on and then, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just want to do this for my pops. And for this to be my first time doing this, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. I might have to start, I might have to start taking some orders. I don't know, y'all let me know, you feel me? So yeah, so what we finna do is we finna, we finna mix the two solutions together, pour it on top, make sure it's clear on there, rest it to the, um, Garage, let it sit, and then yeah. All right, so the instruction says we have to use like a one-on-one -on -one ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two quarts of this and then two quarts of that of this. So we're gonna do like half and half. All right, so I think I'm gonna pour it from this angle and probably use like I don't know, I need something to, hold on. You need like a brush or something? I don't know. This aren't strong. Oh, this aren't finna be crazy hard. Right? No cap. Right, so we done um basically just put the resin up so now i gotta hurry up and take it upstairs and put it inside the garage so in 72 hours we're gonna come back and see basically how it look hopefully i pray that it turn out how i want it to be and yeah we're gonna get my pops reaction man let's go as y'all can see y'all see me holding this sign you know what that means it's been three days you feel what i'm saying it's been three days and it's dry you feel me for this to be our first time i'm not gonna lie i did pretty good we did pretty good we did pretty good you feel me it's just a few things we could have worked on with the epoxy, but you can always fix that. Like I said, if we mess up, we just mess up the first time for everything. It's about the experience. That what would you, what's your opinion on this? I love it, son. I love it. You love it? I love it. Even even not doing the epoxy over, I love it. Okay, if you can rate this one out of 10, what would you rate it? Being the first time and knowing we got the imperfections of the epoxy, mm -hmm. I'd give it a seven and a half. Yeah, I agree with that, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like what we could have worked on with the epoxy, I feel like I let it sit too long without torching it, and it kind of made it a little sticky, but we can just fix that. You know what I'm saying? I always come back to it, but yeah, man, so I can see. Go Falcons, you feel me? I don't care what y'all say about the Falcons, because I always gonna root for the Falcons, man. You dig what I'm saying? Just wait till we put the LED lights behind it, but it's gonna go so crazy, but you feel what I'm saying? But look, just show y'all, if y'all ever wanna try something, just go do it. Just go do it. Don't be afraid, you feel me? But look, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notification, because we posting bangers every week. You feel me? It's your boy KBK, man. We out here. Yeah!